seems like just about every week a new movie is produced out of Georgia, but are the dollars, as a result, staying here in our state? 11 Live's Francesca Amaker takes us inside one of Atlanta's largest studios to answer that question. It's the converted warehouse off Constitution Road that is now the home to Tom Hardy, The Rock, and Kevin Hart, to name a few. I'm talking about Black Hall Studios. I got a chance to take a tour of the extensive property that's already launched a ton of popular movies, but more importantly, I learned just where the power comes from at the motion picture powerhouse. Wait a second, where's my phone? That's what it looks like on the big screen. Here's what it looks like in real life. <laughs> But this is how it looks before the million dollar budgets. And chairman of Black Hole Studios, Ryan Millsap, takes us inside just one of his nine sound stages. This, you can fit a football field in here without the end zones. This is their largest sound stage. It's 40,000 square feet. It's already been the home of Jumanji. I like can't even with this place. And even Godzilla, King of the Monsters. He tells me production companies like Sony Pictures, who made Venom, will lease one of his nine sound stages for 120 days to a year while other movies like Jumanji will only film 10% of that time, therefore creating a lot of opportunity for local labor, like these guys making something top secret. Let's mm -hmm. say you get hired on a, as a Godzilla construction guy. You're part of that production, you know, for the life of the production, and you make all the stuff as you get. He says workers often make twice what they normally do just by being in the industry thanks to unions and benefits. And Ryan says Georgia has come a long way when it comes to manufacturing movies, but we still have a long way to go. That's right. I mean, it's like, think about the Chinese economy. We've started out making things for other people. We're taking movies that were conceived in LA, funded in LA, and then they're shipped to Georgia for manufacturing. Then they're brought back to Los Angeles for distribution. And then all the money is kept in Los Angeles that the movies are made. <laughs> He says that may bring jobs, but the next evolution in the ecosystem is Georgia to start having the capital to fund the project so they're imagined, funded, made, and distributed from Georgia so all the money will remain here. Ryan, who is also a real estate tycoon, isn't stopping anytime soon. He's now the proud chairman of more than 150 acres and growing.